Sons Africa Radio. One voice, one Africa. <laughs> this is what's going down. It's the re-up every day, single Saturday, I'd rather say, uh, between 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. Central African time. Welcome. And today we have a gentleman by the name Saab. He's going to be dropping his uh, mixtape, or rather EP, next year, uh, Lucid. Yes, so you, you, you be on the lookout. Uh, born of uh, Nigerian and South African yes. parents, based in L.A., California. Born in Phoenix, Arizona. A jump-off situation when you listen to the whole uh, music thing. Triple, triple threat. Yes. <laughs> Watch out The visuals are amazing The music is amazing What's up Sab How you doing Doing amazing man Thank you for the great intro That's a lot for people to take <laughs> in But thanks for having me here today um, Appreciate having me up here Yeah that's great So Sab For the average Joe in Africa right now How would you explain yourself to them well, they're probably listening to me. They're like, man, who is this guy up here with this American accent? <laughs> so uh, basically, uh, like you said before, mother's from South Africa, father's from Nigeria, American born. Um, and basically my sound is uh, my sound's interesting because I'm also a producer as well. So um, the EP that I have dropped in January 8th, mm. I produce all the tracks on there. So um, I would say my sound is very original. Um, yeah. I mean, I, you know, uh, a lot of my favorite artists like Nas, Kanye, Jay, like they're, they're inspiring to me. They make music, you know, kind of pushes me yeah. um, and that's kind of that's kind of what I want to do I want to make music that you know pushes people no matter what they do mm. no matter what field they're in you know just to be better nice nice yeah so so now tell me um, inspirations uh, we could hear a bit of cuts from Kanye West there you yeah. spoke about your inspirations in terms of uh, Kanye and all those guys who would you say uh, uh, stood out for you when you grew up because you were born in 91 right yeah born in 91 yeah. so my favorite my favorite MC is Nas hands down nice um, and actually my name um, it's kind of a uh, homage to Nas because Nas's real name is Nasir, so he used mm. the first three letters of his name. Yeah. Um, so I use the first three letters of my name. <laughs> okay, so I just want to know, like, who is um, your inspiration here in Africa or South Africa? I just want to know who you listen to mm. and who you relate to. Um, since I've been here, I've been listening to everybody. I've just been soaking up all kinds of music from mm. house to hip hop. Uh, mm. Some of the guys that stand out to me, um, who sounds I really like. Uh, I'm listening to a lot of Casper, mm. aka mm. Uh, Ricky Rick, yeah. uh, KO. Um, who else? Uh, Dreads. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So yeah. just trying to trying to get my hands, you know, on a lot of different music and kind of mm. soak up the sound. Nice. If you just tuned in, that is the voice of Saab. We have him in the studio. Uh, based in LA, California, we're talking music. Uh, keep it locked. We'll be informing you about the EP Lucid that's going to be dropping in 2016. During the whole interview, we will be playing the music. Coming up right now, I want you to pick one. Takers, is it real, or uh, Dreams? Uh, let's wake people up right now. Let's play Takers. Okay. Yeah, like, I, I just want to know, like, maybe um, explain to the listeners, like, okay. what inspired Takers? Okay, so uh, basically the whole project, real quick, uh, it's called Lucid. Uh, it's an acronym. It stands for Living Under the Sonic Influence of Dreams. Mm -hmm. um, and I also did a short film as well. So like the whole EP kind of tells this narrative of you know how I moved to LA, how I'm pursuing my dreams as far as chasing music. Uh, and Takers just comes from the notion of like you know if you're chasing a dream, no one's gonna hand it to you. You gotta go out there mm. and take it. So. Oh, nice. That's where the inspiration for that record comes from. We're in studio with Saab, ladies and gents. Let the party continue. Takers is up next. Tell the whole world Saab is out yeah. here trying to take over the station. Let's party <laughs> hard. So, yes, if you just join us, it's at TransAfrica872 on Twitter or TransAfricaRadio.net on Facebook. Send us those questions. Saab is in the studio. We're talking Lucid, the... Uh, EP that's coming out in 2016. <laughs> We're talking right. the music. He's talking his trip in Africa right now. Yes. Uh, we want to find out oh, how are you feeling about the, the vibe in Africa as far as music and the, the, the quality of music that's coming out of the, the continent right now. Um, it's actually really great. Like, I mm. came here, um, uh, you know, not really knowing what to expect um, because in the States, you know, we don't really get a lot of music unless you're actively looking for it um, that comes from out of the States. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, coming here, I was really surprised. Like, the hip hop is huge, house is huge. And it's a lot of good music coming out yeah. of here. Like I'm definitely, I'm definitely what I, you know, kind of the stuff I've been soaking in. I'm definitely taking that back to the states with me, putting some people on to you know some of the SA artists. So it's definitely cool uh, nice. being here. The vibes crazy, um, and just you know just soaking up the sound. It's cool. 
All right, so we're getting some tweets out there. We will be reading those tweets out right now. But right now, Lisa's got something on her mind. No, I just wanted to ask, like, um, would you live here? Because um, I could you've definitely, been... I could definitely. Yeah, see you said you were in there. KZN because your mom is from uh, KZN. Yeah, uh, my mom's kind of from all over the place. We were in Peter Murray's. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say place. that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mean it like that. Like she's lived in a lot of different places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's all. Uh, Peter Murraysburg, Kesedan, yeah. uh, Durban, uh, Soweto. So, nice. um, yeah, so it, it, it's just been cool kind of, you know, going around seeing, you know, where, you know, the other half of my uh, yeah. uh, family. family and your roots. Is. Yeah, exactly. So kind of rediscovering that. Mm. Right. And you were on stage in the hood, like yeah. like the <laughs> less, least likely places to find you. Like, yeah. you, uh, your song was in my hood, Alex, uh, this past Saturday, and it, it looked like a jump from what I saw. Yeah, Tell us about the experience and it how you connected a, to the individuals there. It was, it was crazy. It was lit. Like, the, they do this hip-hop thing every Saturday. Yeah. Um, and I got the chance to perform, actually. Um, and it was just cool. Like, the energy was crazy. And the people show mad love. Like, it's it's interesting because, like, I'm coming out here. Nobody knows any idea who I am. But, like, as soon as I touched the stage, you know, and they heard, mm. you know, they heard the songs, heard the message, heard the music. Like, it was all love. So, shout out to Alex for, you know, taking me in and embracing me. I must say, man, I'm really, really, really shocked. I am impressed. Yeah. Yeah, I, w- I was listening to this stuff alone, but now yeah, it's like but now, sinking in. I know, right? It's yeah. it's it's crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> that is the sounds of Saab with Is It Real? Otherwise known as Love right here on Trans Africa Radio Channel 872 on your DSTV. Okay, welcome to it. If you just joined us, Saab is in the studio with us talking music, talking yeah, yeah, all yeah. things great about Africa, all I'm things great about... things international. Yeah. The world. Yeah, Love also it. schooling you because, uh, <laughs> you, you know, we, we got them exclusives out here. <laughs> it's Trans Africa 872 two on twitter using the hashtag the reup you can simply send us the questions that you would like us to ask Saab for you and already we have a couple of questions uh, one question was from at the underscore Wallace saying uh, please ask Saab what language they speak at home and how similar or different are they from South Africa and Nigeria I just don't get it but uh, hopefully mm. Saab does I think I think I get what he's trying to say um, growing up uh, like a multicultural household um, obviously first language is English mm. um, mother speaks Zulu among other languages uh, my father is Nigerian he speaks evil um, mm. so I think that's part of the reason why I never learned either one of their languages yeah. is because I was getting like bits and pieces yeah. everywhere uh, yeah. of each one um, but I'm pretty sure I know like all the bad words <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's where everyone starts yeah, right that's <laughs> yeah that's, that's just how it starts I just remember those being screamed at me uh, like when I was like 10 or 12 so yeah and I want to get into the production because mm-hmm. um, a lot of people don't know that most of the songs that we played if not all of them were produced by you right, mm. right, I, I right. want to find out from you do, do you think that rappers right now uh, we've got the likes of J. Cole, Kanye West, uh, mm-hmm. a lot of guys going out there producing their own music. Is that the way to go? Ananti here in South Africa, Ricky Rick, these guys, yeah. uh, a.k.a. Yeah. himself does mm. it. Is that the way to go? Um, I think now, um, I think for me at least, like coming up, like when I knew I wanted to do music, I just knew I, like if I was going to rap or sing or whatever it you was, like, I wanted to be the producer as well. Mm. Um, just because like I like to have my hand, you know, in every aspect of the creating process. Mm. Um, also, I think like nowadays, I think, you know, I expect a lot from the musicians I listen to. So it's kind of it's kind of pressure on rappers, especially to kind of have to do more. So so expecting more from artists. This is a bit controversial. It was a big story the whole year, if I'm not mistaken. Drake and Meek Mill. So if right, you're expecting right. more, do you still think that, well, this writing thing, um, who writes your lyrics and who's doing the, the, the ghost writing uh-huh. and who does the hooks? Uh, are you worried about that right now? Not really, just because, uh, you know, I'm in and out of studios all the time and like the creative process, it's not just one person doing it alone. So it's a collaborative thing. Everybody mm. in the studios, you know, giving their input. Yeah. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, if it's a dope song, it's a dope song. But I think the thing that's unique about rap is that it requires that authenticity. So yeah. mm. if somebody's not, you know, living their bars or, you know, they didn't even write their bars, that's, that's kind of a problem. Yeah, you but, lose it. Um, it's and, fiction. Exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. I mean, but, but at the end of the day, I mean, music, you know, it's, it's an escape, you know, people, mm. people are trying to get away from, you know, whatever ills them in life and, you know, music's supposed to do that. So I want to put you on the spot right now. <laughs> uh, Meek Mill, uh, Drake, who took it for you? I mean, I think it's pretty obvious, uh, but, uh, but <laughs> back to back, boy. Yeah, yeah, crazy. <laughs> but I mean, I think, uh, I think that kind of thing is healthy for rap, you know what I mean? Mm. Com- competition's always always pushes people you know to make better records so i think 
at the end of the day, if, if good music comes out of it, then, you know, why not? So I want to find out who in Africa right now would you like to work with? Because I already have people in my head right now, mm. so... Yeah, no, yeah. I yeah, I see him with a couple of people. Yeah, there's a but, lot of people. Um, I want to hear what he has to say. And then you know what? Um, it's a record you played earlier, that Nasty C record. Yeah, like, I, heard, <laughs> I heard that. I was like, yo, this kid's super talented. I'd yeah. love to work with him. Mm-hmm. Um, other dudes, I think I'm just trying to think like would like kind of complement the sound. I think I think AKA is dope. Yeah, um, Ricky Rick. Um, a lot of dudes, man. There's a lot of dudes. Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking you should work with, like do me from the volume. Have you heard anything from Doom? You know what? Uh, one of my boys was playing him earlier. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. He's dope. Yeah, no, I, I see you with Doomy. I see you with Nasty. I see you with AKA. Anati. Um, I see you with Anati. Um, mm. I see you. Yeah, no, you. I'm sold. Yeah. That's what's up. I'm yeah, really I mean, sold. right. <laughs> now tell us where can people find you in terms of social media, the internet, phone calls? No, I'm kidding. Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see his face you. is like what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's, so it's real simple. Um, so you can check me out at the sobstory.com. Yeah. The sabstory.com and then all social media uh, Instagram Snapchat Twitter Facebook at the sob story no no not on Facebook though. no on Facebook yeah at the so- or, or yeah, yeah you know <laughs> you know you know it. <laughs> <laughs> at the so sob story Snapchat. At the South, so yeah, I'm Snapchat, Instagram, all that good stuff, yeah. All right, all right, all right. That's what we all about. Right. Get onto the website. It's the yeah. and you'll find out really the visuals, everything that's put in together, uh, what that he put together rather, uh, in order for you to just enjoy it. I, I really, really am sold to the story. So um, yeah, if you are listening, shout outs to everybody. Let me just get into the tweets at Miss Underscore Anyone saying, "Do I love or do I lust? Is it real?" Uh, loving the interview uh, on the reup. Shout outs yeah, yeah. to her, and then. Lisa just being herself moving right along and then, <laughs> why don't you read my teeth <laughs> yep. Lisa was like Nigeria South Africa LA stand up yes sir. Yeah, yeah. I see you and then uh, we had a tweet by at the underscore one saying wow a nice song at uh, uh, the sub story uh, love uh, I guess she's talking about the song love hashtag the re-up so yeah, shout out to everybody that's been uh, we're going to end up the show well not the show why am I ending the show like <laughs> I feel like this is done that, that was, that, that's the reason yeah, I was because, here because I mean we like the king is here and yeah, he's done yeah. with his interview and we oh, just man, feel thank like thank you guys thank you guys much appreciated <laughs> yeah so uh, as soon as you drop uh, you know who to call right oh absolutely, absolutely. yeah I'm trying, to be, I'm trying to be back up here after a drop so that's what's up most definitely coming up right now is Saab with Takers thank you very much for joining us sir I hope you're gonna enjoy your stay when are you leaving uh, Monday Monday, Monday so you're not yeah. staying for New Year's Eve no nah, no nah, where you going not. LA uh, yeah I'll probably be back in LA nah damn I nice. wanna go see the ball drop in New York oh, <laughs> yeah yeah, I'm dying to do that. Let's get into this. Trans Africa Radio. One voice, one Africa. And my advice is that you duck, nigga. Before you end up goose. Okay, now he got the juice. Little nigga, the truth. Set fire to you liars when he step in the booth. Who else could go to school? Right songs.